help you find someone? Oh, I'm looking for a uh, Nora Hannon. Hannon. Oh. Let me help you with that. Yes, I understand that, Mayor Lowell, but see, Marcy's become kind of a cause celeb. Her supporters, they've read thousands of times. But if I push for remand, you, you see, we're going to run the risk. With all due respect, Your Honor, you can't fire me. I'm an elected official. Hello? Hello? You pompous. Oh, I feel your pain. Believe me, I know what it's like not to be listened to. What? Is this about Marcy's case? Why do you always ask me questions you know I won't answer? Because she's my friend. Have you totally forgotten that concept of oh, friendship, support, right. loyalty? Yes. Friendship with knows no bounds. Not even murder. <laughs> Say something that was right to the mayor. You don't want to keep Marcy in jail. What I want is none of your business. Believe it or not, Nora, I'm thinking about you here. Because if you pursue this case against Marcy, you're going to be in for a world of hurt. Thank you for the heads up. I'll make sure I hire a bodyguard for when Marcy's verdict is read to protect me from your next murderous rampage and then inevitable breakdown. I'm of no danger to anyone, especially not you. Oh, yeah? Then what was that threat two minutes ago? It wasn't a threat. It was concern. <laughs> You're a district attorney. You haven't had a win in a long time. You just lost the trial of the decade with Spencer Truman's murder. You've lost the mayor's faith. You need a win, and you're not going to get it with Marcy's case. You don't know anything about this case. There's no jury that's going to find Marcy guilty. Your career is going to be a joke. Well, then, maybe what I should do is throw a fit. Foam with the mouth. I could cause a mistrial. You could give me pointers. You're on the wrong end of this trial. You don't get out of my face, you're gonna be on the wrong end of my foot. Everything okay? Um, actually, Nora and I were just talking about the trial. Or I was talking her ear off about the trial because she can't talk about it. Hmm. All rise. The Honorable Judge Joseph Marino presiding. Okay, you need to take your little flowers and go sit down now. Oh, actually, there you are. I signed for them earlier. They're probably from Flint. This court is now in session. Be seated. Our first order of business is to hear the charges, which include kidnapping in the first degree and reckless endangerment. Will the defendant please rise? How do you wish to plead? Mrs. McBain? Not guilty. No, when Gigi Morasco testifies as to who is threatening her and her son, she's going to look to me for a cue. One nod from me, and she's going to say Lee Ramsey. Another nod, she's going to say Lee Ramsey and Todd Manning. How I nod depends on the decision you make right now. So what's it going to be? Your Honor, she's a first-time offender who has been exceedingly cooperative since her arrest. Your Honor, she's also a proven flight risk. Thank you both. I've heard enough. Bail is granted in the amount of $1 million. Yeah, you can let her go, Your Honor. I'll post that bail. You're willing to post the defendant's million-dollar bail? Absolutely. No problem. Very well. Does counsel have any other business to attend to? I'm sorry, Your Honor. This is highly irregular. This is... Mr. Manning is the victim's father. And a loose cannon, to say the very least. He's been screaming for the defendant's head for months now. I mean, how do we know this isn't a ploy? for him to be able to, to punish Mrs. McBain outside of the law. Your Honor, if I might... Uh... This is a hearing, not a trial. Well, this isn't for you. It's for everyone else. Uh, especially you, Nora. Or D.A. Hannon, excuse me. <clears throat> I implore you to please go easy on Marcy over there. Uh, I've been thinking about it, and I think that if our roles were reversed, I, I probably would have done the same thing. I mean, I would have gotten away with it, though, right, Judge? Uh, but it's over now. 
And uh, my son's home with me, and that's the important thing. And, and I think that I'd like to, to concentrate my time and effort on raising him and not coming to court every day and watching some lunatic woman. But the other thing is I think she's learned her lesson. Uh, I don't think she's going to terrorize any more babies, do you? So, uh, I mean, she knows that, uh, that Sam's never going to be hers ever again. And uh, she's certainly suffering. I hope she's suffering. And uh, that's punishment enough. I don't want to be a party to any more punishment. Yeah, just make sure it's back to my office. Okay, thanks. I'll call you back. Hey, Todd. I don't think your little stunt in there is going to derail this trial. I'm still putting you on the stand. And I'll be your model witness. Can't wait. Me neither. <laughs> huh? How about that?